Alright, so let's say that you work on an illustration or a logo for someone and you need to export it and they don't want a background. Most of the time if it's a logo, obviously they're not going to want a background, they're going to want it to be transparent. So you have all your layers here. What you can do is you go into background color and you turn off that layer. So then you'll have something that looks like this. And essentially, you just tag the wrench, touch the wrench, go to PNG, and then you can send it to, if you have another Apple device, you can send it there, or you can save it and send it that way. But as long as, you, as, long as you're sending it as a PNG, that's probably the, 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 the easiest uh, file type to send something with a transparent background. Once again, you just go to the bottom of the layers to background color, and then you uncheck that. And then you go to the wrench, PNG, and then you can save it or send it, um, whichever way is easier for you. Uh, usually I just send it right to my Mac but obviously you can just save it to your um, save it to your iPad and then you can f send it from there also if I another another if I need to send something to to someone else or if I need to upload something to uh, to the web to get on another device I'll either use send anywhere which is um, I'll either use Send Anywhere or I'll use Dropbox. Um, I also save things to my Google account. That way I can access them on my phone. But, you know, if I'm sending it to someone who I have multiple files in a, in a folder, like on Dropbox, I'll just send it to Dropbox. Or if I want to send it to, um, you know, someone else's computer or another phone that's not an iPhone or something like that, then I'll, I can also use Send Anywhere. Send Anywhere is really great. They're both both free apps, so just apps that I use often. And uh, yeah, and this is Khan. I'm gonna post a uh, time lapse of me creating him as well. Shout out to Keeping Up with Khan. You can also export in TIFF, so you can export in TIFF. Um, the file size is a bit quicker. Um, I did a little research and it just seems like that TIFF supports layers. The image might have a little more information about when it was taken, the name of it, things like that. Whereas I believe PNG is just uh, the image that you're, that you're saving, the transparency that you're saving. But I think TIFF just stores a little bit more information and that's why the file sizes are bigger. Um, usually when I work, I usually just do PNG because that's what I'm more familiar with but just wanted to say also that TIFF does export as uh, transparent as well and it might be an option you might need to look into it a little bit more but TIFF and PNG both export uh, transparency as long as you turn off the background layer in Procreate.